to be standing here today. I know from whence I am gone. A little crossroads town in Missouri. Guardian. But me to be standing here, the place where I would stand in maybe's auditorium today, I'm the most unlikely person for a vision to stand here. I mean, I'll never get any glory for any consecration that I've ever made. Never. I'll never get any reward for any consecration. Because I've never had to make a consecration because I never had anything to consecrate. I was filled with hell. I was born without anything. It's easy to surrender when you have nothing to surrender. I had nothing. And one day I just looked up and said, Dear Jesus, if you can use nothing, then take nothing. Here's nothing. It's the reason that you haven't come here to see Catherine Cluman. Not a person has come here to see me. I know it better than anyone else. You're here because you're hungry. You're here because you're seeking reality. There's something inside of you. It's crying out. You've got to be filled. There's so many, there are people here. You wouldn't classify yourself as a spiritual person. Maybe you haven't been to church in years and you find yourself sitting here in this service. You look around and you wonder why you're here. It didn't just happen. These things are not just happening. This is that now. The Holy Spirit, she's getting the bride ready. He's getting the church ready. That's the reason he's pouring out of the Spirit upon all flesh. Jew, Gentile, Catholic, Protestant. The man, the woman who's been an unbeliever all of his life and yet there's this great coming out in this grave. Why would it not say that these miracles are a result of faith? Because you'll find out that before this service is over with, there'll be those who come up on this platform and they'll say, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. This couldn't happen to me. I can't believe it. It is mercy. We're living in an hour of mercy. We're living in an hour of great grace. He's pouring out of his spirit. He loves us. He loves us. That's why just sitting there. I can explain it to you. I told you everything that I knew. I can't tell you, Lord, because I don't know anymore. I don't think there's anyone in this great auditorium today quite as hungry spiritually for the things of the Spirit than the one who was standing before you. I believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit with every atom I have been. I'm so dependent on the Holy Spirit. I believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But, beloved, I'm going to tell you something. I believe that even after one has received that one experience, there's more and there's more and there's more and there's more. And sometimes I feel like a little child 
standing on the seashore, picking up a pebble here and picking up a pebble there. And then I look out and I see the great ocean. It's this all in this still moment. If only I knew better how to cooperate with the spirit. How they nail to it. I don't understand the slaying power of the Holy Ghost. I only know that I have nothing to do with it. I don't understand how it can be a woman with multiple sclerosis. I still stand there and listen to these people testify. And it's amazing as the person who is hearing the testimony for the very first time. That I know better than anyone else that I have nothing to do with it. Sitting there. Sitting there. And hear me this moment. It's the same Holy Spirit that's in this auditorium right now. It's the same Holy Ghost that came upon the 120 in that upper room. That's the same Holy Spirit. You read that glorious account in the Word of God. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. It's the same person, the Holy Spirit that came upon believers in the church. That early church is the same Holy Spirit, the same Holy Spirit. And he's about to name. And when he goes, he takes with him the bride of the church. Will not be of other great tribulation, for the tribulation is not from the perfecting of the saints. Our perfecting is being taken care of now. And he goes beyond the says, Eyes closed just a minute all over this place, not an eye open. While I was speaking, the Holy Spirit has come upon many a person sitting there. The Holy Spirit is moving in this place. The Holy Spirit is moving in this auditorium, this holy ground. As you sit there and literally breathe in of his presence. Oh, there's such power and quietness. Just breathe this presence. Would it be glorious if this could be the search? When every person, the place who meet me by the presence of the Holy Spirit, it's the same one we see. It's who manifested his power. During the ministry of Jesus, the same Holy Spirit who assailed all that were pressed. And those are sins so rich. You don't need Catherine Kuhlman to lay a hands upon you. Just sit in there the, as the Holy Spirit moves. Say, have you ever seen the Holy Spirit move? But I have seen the results of his presence. Neither hath any man seen the wind. But we see the results, the force belief. These marvelous healings are the results of the force and the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't be afraid. I will ask you. Forget there's anyone else here. Forget there's anyone else here in this holy sanctuary. Forget that there's anyone else here. Take that from him, that for which you have called. 
And the very minute that you know that you're healed, the very second that you know, you owe it to him to come and give testimony of that which he has done for you, the very second. Don't come forward to be prayed for. Said to them, take it. <laughs> 